Right, hello. So I've had someone that wants to um, have a bit of a review of this tablet. Um, I haven't really used it a massive amount. I have set it up. Um, <clears throat> generally, when you get it out of the box, it's a very, very premium feel um, tablet. <clears throat> it feels just as good as any iPad, even an iPad Pro. It feels really premium. It's all metal. I think it's metal. It feels like metal. It's cold like metal. I really love the camera in the center there. That's absolutely cool. Did have a sticker on here with the IME. I don't know if it's IME, some numbers. Took it off, didn't like it, looked really horrible. So i um, not sure if that's meant to stay on there, but I retained the sticker, so I still have that. I've got a screen protector on this, um, which I recommend everyone do, and it didn't go on very well. And that was with a frame to go around it. Um, and there's no bubbles in it, so it's bubble free. It do for now, it'd be absolutely fine. It's a bit dusty <laughs> where I've had it in the, in the cupboard. Uh, let's just get a bit of dust off. Right, so let's have a quick look. So it's around there. It's really responsive. I think it's really responsive anyway. It's got, uh, what have we got? <sighs> Update device optimizer. Let's just download that. Oh, it's going to update now, isn't it? That's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? So we'll let it do its thing. And if it does update, I'll pause the video and start again. Um, yeah, really responsive. That's how you get to the apps, you go up. It's probably better tablet mode that way. So they're all the standard. Most, I've deleted some of these. I haven't really added anything, only the video maker and cap cut. Uh, YouTube is already on here. Your main stuff is already on here. You'll need to download your... Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, Facebook Messenger. I can't get Facebook to work, though. Um, that might just be me, might be something I'm doing, but it's, you know, not a problem. The cameras are really good um, for the price of this. The cameras are shockingly brilliant, I think. Um, that's just my floor. Um, that's in photo mode, video mode. The light's really bad in here. The selfie cam, you can be able to see everything behind me. It's just really good. Um, it's just as good. Oh, you've got a zoom on it as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. I haven't got any um, major light on at the moment, so it's not going to look great. Uh, that's all the stuff, right? Okay, didn't know it done that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, all good. It's got Google Apps. Oh, I didn't set all this up, did I? <laughs> got your Google Apps. You've got your whatever you use, your maps, this, that, and the other drive. And you do have the Play Store just down here because a lot of people are probably wondering if the Play Store's on here. Yes, it's full Android. Everything's on there that I can find. Um, yeah, <laughs> that is about it. Um, and it's got its own Honor marketplace as well so I, I guess that's all the same sort of stuff i've never never used this before it's a bit like the samsung i guess samsung's have their own dedicated sort of app store oh it's got tesco's on there as well and cut and paste that could be quite useful that could be quite fun i'm looking for a half decent um, photography app just to see uh if i can edit my um photo files on here but all in all i think this is an absolute fantastic tablet for the price especially i've um it's on ebay i will put a link in the description for it so you can get a link straight on it i think this is 209 pound just as it is this is the 8 gig ram model with 256 gigs of storage <clears throat> you can get a bigger one with um 16 gigs i think it is of ram so no it might be 12 i think it's 12 <clears throat> yes 12 gigs of ram um but this is about the same power as what I'm using now to film on the uh, Samsung uh, Z Flip 5. It's about the same, I'm pretty sure it's the same amount of RAM. Obviously, the chipset's going to be slightly different. I did notice that it does edit video fine. Um, but I have found that CapCut these days is getting a bit heavy, as in uh, the way it does files. It used to be quite a, a slim program that was really easy to use and didn't take a lot of memory up. Now it seems to take a lot up. Um, so that's why I bought Video Maker a long, long time ago. It wasn't that much and it's really good and it's not, it's not a heavy, heavy memory eater. 
So it flips around as quick as any Samsung or um, iPad would flip around, you know, for doing you this, that and the other. You've got face recognition, no thumbprint sensor. I'm not sure if it's Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi, wireless charging enabled. I can't find any information about that anywhere. But give me a second. I will just quickly go and have a look on my other charger I've got in here because I've only tried it on a MagSafe and it didn't work which I probably wouldn't expect it to. No, I don't think it is. Actually, I probably know it's not because it has a metal back, but that's not an issue because putting a... That's a lovely picture, that. Let me just get that back on. Let's get rid of these silly notifications. Um... Putting a tablet on a wireless charger is quite big. So it's I don't think it's the best thing in the world to be able to do and sort of to do generally because they're not very big. They're only, the maximum size is sort of about this big and that's got a balance on there. And that's going to put pressure on the screen and the, the, the oh, what's this called? The frame, it's not called the frame, it's called something else. Um, and that could cause issues over time especially with the heat that you get from wireless chargers. So the wireless chargers are great, but they do degrade the batteries with the heat that they put off. Um, this is really fast wireless charging. I don't have any issues with this on my um, fast charging bricks. Absolutely fine. I mean, I charged it all last night. It was on and I unplugged it this morning. I've left it all day uh, just on standby. And it's just only gone down to... Uh, 99%. The batteries are meant to be really good on these. I don't see why they wouldn't be because it's pretty big. So it should have a pretty big battery in there. Obviously, it'd be ultra slim. Um, it's got eight speakers all the way around it. I couldn't tell you where they are. We've got two there, two there, two at the bottom and two at the top. But they're a little bit smaller at the top. So, yeah, there's your speakers. So the sound's absolutely fine. You won't be able to hear it properly on, on here. So I won't even bother mucking about with it. Um, Let's have a quick look uh, at, where is it? That might give us a bit too much information there that we don't. So it's a Snapdragon 6th generation. That's an oldish uh, processor, but it's, it's absolutely fine. And 8 gig plus 8 gig on a turbo RAM. I have no idea how you activate that. Um, I've got 184 gigs free. Um, there is a lot of apps on here that you probably want to just delete that you'd never use. I've also got for, it's a 2K screen. I've also got for video files. That's why I got a, a, the small memory size because it's fine for what I need inside the tablet. But I got an SSD that plugs into down here and that works absolutely fine. No problems with it at all. You don't have to mount it or unmount it when you take it out. So you can just unplug it and it's absolutely fine. Um, so if you want a, a good, a very, very, very good cheap tablet, this Honor Pad 9 is the one I would really recommend. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I do love this colour as well. You can get it in, um, I think it's only two colours. I'm not really sure. This colour and like a a light teal, which is very nice, but I think my missus would have probably liked the, the teal one, but she didn't see it. Um, but I really like this. I love their design of the camera right in the center. It's different to everyone else's because they put them up here or up here on the corners. That's fine. I like that. It's a bit different um, and it works for me and I've gobbed all over the screen. Lovely. Oh, the front, front facing camera, little tiny one up there. You can barely see it. Barely, barely see it. So I, I reckon if you're in the market for a tablet, it doesn't have to be the best thing in the world, but needs to perform at least where well, this performs just under what the really expensive ones uh, will perform. Um, I haven't seen many issues with them online. You get the odd people that have had issues, but you do with any, even the top brands, even Apple, even Samsung. Um, with Samsung, I've had a tablet before and I sent that back because it had some weird issue with the screen. It had like, um, I don't know, it almost looked like water behind the screen. This tablet had never seen water or anything like that. It was pretty much new, hardly ever used. Um, and it took them ages to fix. They didn't fix it in the end. They sent me a new tablet after probably about a year of mo uh, moaning and stuff at them saying, fix it, you haven't fixed it. So, yeah, 
if you want a, a really good cheap tablet, like I said, get one of these. You cannot go wrong. Sorry, that cut off. That's the issues you get with Samsung stuff. It stops recording when it feels like it. I really don't know why. It's always done it. No idea. It's not hot. It's not running out of memory because I cleared the memory. So yeah, get yourself one of these. It will be worth your time to get. It's, it's just worth it because it is. It just is. Thanks very much for watching. If you like, if you want to see more things about this, stick it in the comments below or any of my other stuff that I've got. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.